Hello everyone again and welcome back to my channel. Now, uh, those of you who have been watching my YouTube channel a bit or following the stock mode rebirth campaign, they might have noticed that I uploaded a video previously um, regarding the stock mode reposts campaign. Uh, I went into depth and explained exactly what the campaign is about. And uh, in this new video, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to show some details about how installing mods from malicious sources can negatively affect your computer's health. So, um, what I've done is basically set up a virtual box with Windows XP Series Pack 2 with full network access. I've downloaded a bunch of files beforehand and I will just uh, run them all and see how how they work out if they install some malicious things. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start my virtual box. And there we go. Oracle virtual box. Um, so Windows XP is a fairly old system. Uh, uh, many people still run Windows XP on their computers somehow. And uh, I haven't actually installed. Uh, I haven't actually installed Minecraft on the system. Uh, I might go ahead and install uh, install Java. So just wait a second here. Uh, I don't know why I'm using Internet Explorer, but uh, I guess <coughs> that's a standard browser. So what I'm basically trying to do is um, uh, I will simulate a standard uh, computer user's um, environment. Because a new version of Windows. Uh, requires a new version. Uh, we have a line way. I will be uh, trying to install some of these programs. Uh, let's if we can't install Java, and then we'll just check out uh, how many of them can actually run without Java. Uh, they shouldn't be able to, since Minecraft is coded in Java. So anyway, I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of mods here downloaded from some of the malicious sources listed on the GitHub link, which is linked in the description. So. <clears throat> I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen when I launch these, so I better just get started. So anyway, these mods should all be 1710. At least they claim to be 1710. Um, I'll start off with Forge. Something tells me this is actually uh, actually the real Forge. Yeah, I actually need Java. I'll just go ahead and find Java while I wait. Uh, no thanks. I need Java 7. Maybe Java 7 will work. <coughs> so anyway, uh, here we go. Windows off. Windows online. I don't really need. Don't bother about any of these. Windows offline. Sure. So <coughs> um, uh, some of these mods are from pretty shady locations. When I tried to download them, I got flagged from AVG. Uh, uh, antivirus. They said that it was adware. Most of them, and I have. I think something's gonna happen with Firefox. This is basically the whole reason I installed Firefox to see how the installers would affect how they would affect this uh, the browser. So I'm just gonna wait until the other is installed, and there we go. Uh, so I am going to launch Forge. Uh, install client. This actually seems like a real Minecraft Forge client. However, it's Minecraft Minecraft Forge 1178. I think that's a pretty outdated, uh, outdated version. So if I was Minecraft Forge .net, 11, 1178 for 1710. Uh, actually 1291. You can see right there. This is a really, really outdated version, so yeah, if I install the client, it gives no Minecraft installation, uh, so yeah, Forge didn't work, uh, because I didn't install Minecraft. Well, I can just start off installing this mod so I don't waste your time, so Colored Beacon Beams mod, I have no idea what this mod does, I run it, hey, this is Desktop Launcher, Stained Glass, you don't have best to get a fast and successful downloader that will download your file as efficiently as possible. We all just love to get discounts on the items you usually buy. 
but it seems that when the discount just comes ju comes just without any effort. Unisales is a plugin you can easily add to your browser. Oh, look at this! It's a browser add-on. Don't even need a browser add-on. So anyway, which enables you to access thousands of money-saving coupons and start getting special coupon offers while shopping online. And the best part is that all of this is completely free for you. Now I don't need unit sales. I'm not the kind of guy who shops online. But anyway, pay attention to the terms. I'm not going to press decline because most people just say, "Oh, that's really cool." Continue installation. Uh, I press continue. <coughs> uh, just yeah, whatever. My start search provides you with a portal to the most popular and hardest websites, including music, video, news, games. My start search is related to the homepage of millions of users. Start with my start search now for an exciting experience on the internet. Ooh, an exciting experience on internet. So make them a homepage, default search, yeah, whatever. Accept. So yeah, now uh, maybe people would see that. Hey, there's not there's a decline button. Some people see that, but. It's really well hidden, it looks great out, and so does this checkbox. So, the it's my PC backup. I don't really need my PC backup. Um, accept. Here we go, down. I'm just gonna check with Task Manager right here. This is Task Manager from Post. I am receiving it pretty slowly. Internet is much faster than that, so yeah, this is gonna take a while. So, Minecraft DL. And um, yeah. Uh, so uh, what was basically going on? Why I, why did I accept all these offers? Well, that's basically because most people, uh, many people, I mean most people, many people don't notice that there are some, uh, you know, that there are bundles you can actually opt out of and think that they might need it in order to install the mod. And this is this is false. This is completely false. Uh, and all the way, this mod here is downloading at just a few hundred task manager. So you can see a few hundred kilobytes per second. Sometimes it's jumping up to like a few megabytes, but it doesn't. <coughs> it's hardly anything. So I'm sure I could download this much faster off the website itself. I mean, this downloader installed it downloaded pretty quickly, so. Maybe this uh, 256 is actually background noise from some other down effort I'm, I'm working on right now. Um, you can see it's pretty slow anyway. It doesn't actually download except for these spikes. So anyway, uh, this actually took quite a bit longer than I thought it would. Maybe this is because it actually also has to install the other browser plugins. People wonder, oh hey, it takes forever to do this. It install, takes forever to install mods. So, you know, I'm just gonna pause this video and wait until it's pretty much done so you don't have to wait. And here we go. Actually, that was surprisingly quick once I stopped, uh, once I actually paused the thing. And it also seems like the 200 kilobits is just background noise for my system, my host system, so that's not a problem. Yes, can can you go to task manager? Does this? Oh, hey, something something happened. In the background. It's failed to initialize properly. Oh, well, networking. Here we go. So I can actually you can I'll just keep this here so you can check on network usage. So my PC backup failed to install. Uh, and what's the next thing? Download mod installer set up Q A T F F R T M three. Uh, I don't even know what that did. It, it doesn't. One or more uh, con something failed to uh, since keyboard code rename uh, whatever. I, I can't get it to install anyway. Uh, Dragon one six seven one six four downloaded provided through. I, I removed the name here. Uh, this is one six four. So yeah, loading. I wonder what this is going to do. And hey, there we go. It starts using the network. There's a slight little bit. So it's loading the setup right now. This is Russian. I, I, I don't. What is it doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to press this button and hope everything's all right. 
Dragon Mounts, Dragon Mounts mod. Yeah, this seems like it actually download the mod. Loading. Maybe it actually didn't. Maybe I actually didn't download the mod. Maybe I just like downloaded the uh, an installer. That <coughs> I mean, a download and a downloader. I can't do any of this. Just press the button. Lucky block mod. Here we go. So those two. Uh, I've also got some interesting um, other files here. My MC Patcher and MC Patcher Pro from a dedicated site that claimed to be the real one, actually secure site and everything. I'm going to get back to that later. So anyway, yeah, this is probably fine. My file it doesn't actually. There's no. F we got it to the download off. Of what? Your file? Which file? So if you agree with the terms of use and privacy policy, sure. We have done our best creative blah 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 blah. Uni sales continue. Um search protect. Have I not seen search protect at some previous like some previous time was like the worst per software ever to be invented by anyone? Just accept. I'll probably need it sometime, right? Accept to download. Now it's downloading and it doesn't actually download very much. It's 19%. It's flashing and stuff. That's zero percent. It's not actually downloading. That's but that's kind of disappointing. It was at 19 percent, and that's pretty much what I should expect for it's pretty much the internet capacity. Now things are happening. It's, it just randomly stops. This this can't be normal for a mod installer. Uh, this is the modern weapons mod. Uh, it's right on the desktop, right there. I have no idea how this ended up on my desktop. Uh, uh, you know, I'm in, I'm impatient. I'm gonna check out this other file, MC Patcher. I don't know which one. You know, maybe I need both. I'll start with MC Patcher Pro. It seems like a really professional thing. Preparing MC Patcher Pro. Please wait. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for you. MC Patcher Pro Setup Wizard. Installation program. End user for Word Jam. Translating this for you. <coughs> Receive recommendations from friends and all the websites you'd like to use. Wajam gives you personal results from Facebook and Twitter on websites such as Google, TripAdvisor, Amazon, and more. User data from Facebook and Twitter will be used by Wajam. What? User data from Facebook and Twitter will be used by Wajam to give personal results? Based on what you search for, Wajam can use an add on, uh, local proxies, uh, DLLs, info, uh, cookies. Pixels? It needs pixels like computer screen pixels uh, or other means to collect your IP address, the websites you visit, <coughs> and other information including the, in the content of encrypted websites, give you personal search results, and show you advertising. It looks like one of those terrible, terrible things, and you don't, you definitely don't want it on your computer. Wajam can protect can protect itself from other software that tries to interfere with it. Oh wow! So you mean if I install if I install antivirus, it will not be able to remove Wajam because Wajam will refuse to be removed. You can choose to you, know, you can opt out of third party ads and remove Wajam whenever you want. Find out more to ask for removal or deactivation of this program. Please contact us on the follow on this electronic address, like email address, okay? So to ask to remove or deactivate the program, you have to contact them by email. And by pressing agree, or pressing accept, I accept the service, the, ter the terms of service and privacy policy, and consent to installation and activation of Wajam for all web browsers. Please contact us for the other information. Like <coughs> this seems like the like the like a completely destructive. What on earth is going on? On task manager, seriously, is it like kind of trying to infect me or something? Anyway, uh, I got a I've got AVG running on my host computer, so I hope I won't die from that. But anyway, accept. 
Uh, optimize your progressive Windows system organization tool that it cleans, scans and cleans your entire computer of threats and junk files while boosting its PC to its top performance. Sure thing. Faster search! Uh, uh, any word and phrase in Wikipedia and other results will appear in the page and use less clicks and less tabs to find, uh, to install and some ad supporting software. The, 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 the. Additional ad on the Christmas board and line site word browser. It's a separate and unedited product which are browsers. Shares non personal identifiable information. Shares non personally identifiable information, including search history and URL history, to advertising partners to improve product performance and ad relevance. I don't feel comfortable with these guys just, <coughs> you know, randomly sharing my information. Uh, so browser settings are adjusted and can be uninstalled. Okay, if you accept. Skip is that uh, what is that? That and next, next I think yeah whatever. Okay, this is the fourth one. So AS package enables installation of any send any number of files to unlimited size to anywhere faster for free. Right click on the file, click send or share with any send, shake and drop. Sending the files never so easy. Just shake all the files, pictures, videos to any send, specify the recipients and let it do the rest. They will receive it all. You agree to install any send with the terms to use and privacy policy. So yeah, download 72%. And there we go, invalid file handle, ignore and restate the corruption. Sure, okay. Uh, 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 patch. Uh, uh, okay. So now the thing actually stops. Um, it was hanging around basically at internet capacity, and I know MC Patcher isn't uh, that big. On the other hand, I got a bunch of junk were installed. Let's come to the other MC patcher. Uh, preparing, and I'm gonna watch out on this task manager and also be looking at CPU usage setup 960. I think this is it. So, MC patcher, Bajam, the same thing. Accept, 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 next. Look at this. It's spawned on the process. It's the, the three processes. Uh, well, the file handle, okay, just whatever. This, hey, close. Set up wizard, okay, it disappeared. Um, so we got those. Uh, what's left? Okay, so we got a Weeping Angels mod, and we got the Middle Ages mod. <coughs> this is probably just one non just similar to the other one. All the same size. What's this? Live support. Uh XA and it's actually running and networking is enabled. Middle ages mod for Minecraft something. Minecraft one two five. Uh you know, just gonna run that and I'll hope that nothing bad happens. Um okay. Uh, open please. What are you up to? Sorry but I'm I'm not interested in calling you. As an American spam okay, just kidding, don't spam it. It's really pretty mean for them. Any performance it does do something I think. I don't know. Uh opening this a bunch of times, I don't even I don't even know. Uh, is it even running? Middle Ages mod? No, it's not even running. Live support is running. I have no idea what it does, but anyway. We've installed all the mods now, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll launch Firefox and I will take a look at all the wonderful. Uh, okay, so just gotta put this down for a minute. We've got to start my search. Um, my start search. My search, my start. I don't know. My start search, okay. Um, uh, it claims to be. This, it looks like Google or something. I will see if I can install. Say, okay, I didn't get Minecraft Forge installed successfully. So, Minecraft Forge. Can I download and install Minecraft Forge? Okay, what can this be? Ads. Uh, click here to install now. I can install it right now. Flash Player, of course. Yes, please uh, install. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, play now. Yeah, I want to play Minecraft right now. 
uh, whatever close. Minecraft Forge free instant download. So this is an advertisement. Downspeeddesk.com free instant download. Sounds sounds legit. Uh, click download. Make ask my home page. Sure install. Prevented this site from. Okay. Allow. Sure thing, install. So now I got Minecraft Forge, of course, that's what people think. Um, well, we're located, learning a special offer for downspeed test users. Do I need a special offer? And also, what's this? It's a huge grey bar, and there's the ask, the infamous ask to a bar. Uh, hey, where's Minecraft Forge? I didn't get Minecraft Forge. That's there. Oh, hey, Minecraft 1.5. I can need Minecraft 1.5. So, yeah, this is basically it. I just installed a couple of mods, and this is the result. At least I think I installed a couple of mods. So, I'm gonna join a Minecraft server that claims to be really awesome. So, uh, Minecraft, Minecraft servers. Uh, uh, Minecraft servers. This, this is actually a legit site, MinecraftServers.org. Okay, but there are a bunch of advertisements. Um, I will take a look at ex at add-ons. I will see. <coughs> so this was also installed at the same time. The FF toolbar, the Internet Speed Tracker. PCCPN app, price shop, YouTube ad blocker. Oh, this one is an infamous one. This one is an infamous one. Uh, and now I got the ask home page. Okay. Uh, PCCPN app. Buy undefined malware. Should I remove it? Remove PCPN app extension completely. Easy guide to remove. Guide to remove. Hijacker removal. How to delete extensions in Google Chrome. You know, this seems like a pretty shady add on. Um, so I'll guess that's pretty much how I'll, <coughs> how I'll finish this off. What I'll do now is I will restart this box. Uh, new programs installed. AS package. I'm gonna configure this later. I'm gonna restart the computer and then I will try and launch some of those shady applications I just installed and see what happens when I use them. Windows XP uh, The application failed in this last properly so my PC backup is in startup. And uh, my PC backup. Oh well. Optimizer Pro. Yes, please. Start scan. Two items detect. Zero items detect. Fifteen items. Okay, so it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up again. Attention! 489 items to clean and optimize your PC. And, you know, I just installed Windows XP like a couple of hours ago. Residual files, visited web pages. Okay, so this isn't actually any dangerous things. So let's fix it now. Register. Skewed job kit. Oh, it's one of those scam. One of those scam apps. Um, how do I exit? Uh, privacy check and clean. Registry entries found. Uh, okay, whatever. Clean. Optimize. Going in. No, I won't. No thanks. Oh, the kind of trash that I get. AS package. Configure. Oh, what's for certain is that I got a bunch of pretty bad things. Any sand? 
settings that you send anything. I don't need to do that to be honest. Send, send and send. Send is send. Five hundred and twenty points. Operation operation aborted. I don't think that's normal. Oh come on, what what is this? What fire flight is and folders I'm gonna go for Minecraft mods. I'm gonna send all my Minecraft mods. I'll leave blank for download link. Send copy link. Cries authentication. Thirteen minutes, six minutes, seriously. Primary email. Uh, um, uh, I gotta find some kind of disposable mail service for this, because there is absolutely no way I'm gonna install. So yeah, anyway, just wait a second. I'll get something started. Uh, so yeah, just <coughs> behind the scenes, I just created an email address. Uh, stop mod repo. First at qvox.de send activation. Please check your email. Um, sure thing. So what what I just did? Uh, I just got an email from from this weird company. So yeah, this is outside the virtual box. Please confirm your email address. Um, click here to confirm. And um, yeah, it's, this, this seems totally legitimate. Uh, confirm. I need to confirm. An unknown error occurred trying to validate your account. Your account may not have been validated. I just did that. Fake. So yeah, whatever. Um, didn't get it. Try again. Send. Should have gotten another one. Uh, Click here to confirm. Okay, so they don't actually want me to confirm the email. Um, no thanks. Can't get any of this to. to, to. No, just not sure the problem. Don't send. Okay, so now things are actually starting to happen. If I go to. Privacy icon appears, let's see a privacy icon. Some cookies restricted. I won't, I won't actually do anything. Okay. Okay. Privacy report. Please show superfish. Okay, what's superfish? Anyway, stop not reaper. This video is becoming way too long. And yeah, this is actually legitimate. I open this outside the box. Stop mod repos.org. And here we go. This is the actual stop mod repos site. And it works perfectly well except for in the virtual box. So stop mod repos.org. Uh, this is, this is uh, Minecraft. Forum.net opening page. Maybe it's because I'm using Internet Explorer. I'm still have Firefox. Not now. So Reposts.org. So it loads in Firefox and it doesn't load in Internet Explorer. Unused. I don't know, something's up. This wonderful little balloon. Anyway, this this thing is becoming way too long. I can't I can't continue keep it doing this. This video is almost half an hour and I was trying to like keep it to maybe ten minutes, but obviously that doesn't work well. So what I'm gonna do is I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate taking the time for this.
so yeah I guess I'll s we'll talk later okay see ya